Konnichiwa! Money, yes, this was up, my monitors. Going to be trying to do my first official review on Dragon Ball Super. Anyway, to start off, as you know, there was Jocko. He was at some kind of stand, I guess you could say, or somewhere on some kind of planet or something. Who knows? But he was eating food that looks like this really yummy ramen. God dang it, some good stuff. Anyway... Then we got this villain, Watakash, I think his name. I'm not the best at remembering stuff, so please bear with me. I'm very nervous for this first try, but I like how Chaga's like, nah, he'll, he's, he's contained, everything's fine, basically. And of course, guess what happens? Watakash gets away. And of course, after that, then, as you know, we get into the part where Fidel screams and Gohan's like, Fidel, you okay? <laughs> and then they see the commercial and then Gohan's face is just priceless. He's just like priceless, man. And it's just so good because you can tell he's like, what? And I, I'm kind of, I was sad to hear this, but apparently Gohan is um not like a super big hero. It makes me super sad. I was so hoping he'd be like, a hero, but apparently he was like this hero that was shortly there and then left. That that really sucks, but that hurts. <laughs> that kind of hurts. I'm not gonna lie. I'm being a little, probably a little bit biased in this episode because Gohan is my favorite character and whatnot. So I, I'm just saying. But and as you know, they go to the place where they're gonna do their movie, and. Of course, Gohan offers to be the stuntman because the other guy's like, Ah, are you crazy? I can't do that. Then I'll just fire you. You'll never be in the industry again. And then there's Barry, which is just like this little, like, oh my god. He's he's like this playboy in a way, I guess you could say at the start. You know, he's like, oh, you want to show off for the ladies? I get it. He's like, yeah. And he's like, I want to show off for my girl, my girl Pan, basically. And it's like really cute. And I thought it was really cute. But, alright, but when, of course, Gohan goes to the bank and saves the day, but of course, as he's entering, he knocks Krillin the fuck out. Now, that that's freaking hilarious. And then, of course, you know, they, they're, like, talking to him. He's like, you're you're the great Saiyan man. And it's just like, um, he wasn't expecting them to remember. And he didn't remember them, of course, apparently. But, and then, you know, out of all, it's just funny. And then, of course, they're, like, on to the story and whatnot. And then, of course, Watagash and infects one of them and enters the smaller one's body. And he's like, I feel like I can do anything. And it's just like, holy crap. And Watagash starts going insane in this guy. Like, I don't know. What it was, like, if the, I'm not sure, really. It just, and then go on, of course. <laughs> just get easily beats him down but the interesting part is when he was gonna do a kamehameha he's like i thought he was gonna kill the dude <laughs> what the fuck you doing and he does this silly little move as the cops get there and freaking hilarious and of course they thought it was him because he was the one with the suit but bulma covers for him thankfully and of course you know and then after that of course Coco overhears the conversation, which is really interesting. And after that's where it really gets interesting, where she asks him to help with voice lines and whatnot, uh, or something like that. Well, and then she asks him to fly around, which this is where it's getting really nerve wracking because I love Gohan and Videl. They're the perfect pair, man. But all seriousness, I'm really interested. And then, of course, during the scene where he's flying, Jocko comes in and does his pose and is like, I don't know what he meant, but apparently Chaco is after Gohan, I think he said. I don't know what's going on with that. But if that was the case, wouldn't he have already tried to infect him? Um, I'm not too sure on that. Maybe there's some thing he needs to have in order to infect them? Like a, a way to infect them or some reason of doing it? I don't know. Like Maybe they have to have something... So he's able to be, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm hoping this is not like the GT crap. Though, I mean, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't personally know. But it's interesting, and I'm really wanting to see, you know, all this work out. 
And I can't wait to see the next episode because, like I said, Gohan's my favorite character. I'm not the best at this. Like, I'm really trying to do this. I'm really nervous. Like, I have no idea how to go on about an anime review. Not gonna lie. I don't know. I'm just really interested in this. I mean, of course, I thought Great Sandman idea was freaking hilarious and cool anyway. Because it gave a whole new comedy, you know, thing for Dragon Ball Z. But that's just me. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Hopefully you all enjoy this little video. But seriously, what is with heroes in their poses? Gohan back in the day. Then Gohan now after he, in, the, in the movie studio where they're working on the movie. And then of course Jocko. What is with heroes and posing, man? But as always, make sure if you like to come rate, subscribe. It helps a lot. And as always, stay awesome, my Mars. Chinese.